Looks like we're starting up. Stream is starting. The only thing about firing up a new live stream is like the delay as it starts up and making sure everything's right because there's about a 30 second to a minute delay. All right, looks like we're there. Hi, just want to say hello. Uh, this is Tom from Inspiration Metalworks. Um, been a little while since I've put anything up uh, as far as content goes, and I just wanted to do a quick check in and let everybody know that I'm still here, I'm still around, and um, just get people caught up. And also, uh, wow, look at that! Already got some people joining. Awesome. So uh, yeah, just kind of you know checking in and, and see how things were going. So um, yeah, let's start with uh, what's going on. Uh, Nick, Mark, I want to say hi. Um, don't know if you guys are actually watching or just getting the chat because stats are saying zero watching, but then I got live chat, so that's kind of cool. All right, so the stats are wrong because it looks like we've got some people that are in here. All right, it's the other side, isn't it? Which side is it? God, it's a camera thing. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. So things are going. All right, excellent. Let's see. I um, want to say hi to everybody. So let's see. I already said hi to, to Nick and Mark. Uh, 1981 Right Guy. Mike. Hey, how you doing? Uh, John McTaggart. Uh, Lisa, oh, and your wife. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Very cool. Um, welcome. Well, Sean. Hey. Awesome. That's cool. All right. We got to all sorts of people. I, I wish I had, um, I wish we were doing a little bit more today, but i um, I'm just taking a break for, for a little bit. I'm in the shop tomorrow, and uh, I wanted to, to talk a little bit about what's going on and, and what's been happening. And um, I will be shooting some video tomorrow and things like that. But uh, first things first, what I want to go over is if you are following me on Instagram, uh, you may notice that I've got some stickers, right? Um, I made a point of should get Instagram. Yeah, Nick, okay. So now you can see about how long there is a delay. Uh, yeah, so um, I made a point of ordering a bunch of stickers, so I've got a, a bunch more than this. Uh, but I'm going to give this whole uh, pack away. Right? So, um, yeah, it's... <laughs> there we go. Uh, so I'm going to give these away. And it's first come, first serve. I need you to send me an email or DM on Instagram if you've got, uh, got stuff. Uh, Nick, okay, I got your address already, so no worries there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, by all means, get in touch with me. My email address, if you guys don't know it, is just tom at inspirationmetalworks.com. Right, so you can send me an email. Um, you can do it through the web page. Actually, I did get uh, a couple of people who reached out through the web page. Um, so far, I'm not going to show addresses, but all of these are going out. Right? That's just in this stack. Uh, I do this about once or twice a year, but um, I want to make sure that Anybody who wants some can get some. Um, miss the machining videos. Yeah, tell me about it. It's killing me. I need my shop therapy. Uh, when we moved in, or when we bought this house, our plan was two weeks from closing to move in to do a refresh. And as we started digging around, we uh, found that yeah, there's an awful lot that needed work. So we're probably three to four weeks out from being done here. And then I get to move the shop. So, um, yeah, I've been, I haven't been in the shop really in, you know, not, but for like very quick stuff and for almost a month and I'm freaking out. So tomorrow I'll be in the shop. However, and I want to ask, uh, I want to ask uh, the question to people about this because I'd really like to get some feedback um, from everybody. Uh, so the, uh, the question I have to ask, um, I can't, I'm can't. i not going to be able to record everything that I'm doing in the shop uh, moving forward. I've actually uh, signed some contracts and I've got an NDA in place now, a local company. Um, it's a big company and they just don't like to see their stuff all over social media unless they have some sort of uh, control over it. So that is good and bad, right? It's regular work, it's good work, but it's also, um, you know, not stuff I can I can share, so that part of it uh, kind of sucks. 
But what I wanted to ask is, uh, you guys, do you, any of you guys run into stuff like this where uh, there's things that you just don't share or can't share when you're looking at your projects? Cause, man, some of this stuff is really cool. And it seems silly to me that we couldn't share it uh, because there's nothing proprietary about some of this stuff. Uh, but that's just their general statement, their general rule, and so I'm going to abide by it uh, to the letter because that's just, that's how I am, right? You know, I'm going to do the right things. Um, so when you do that, uh, when you're in these kinds of situations, I see, you know, there's, I know Mark, I, Mark, I knew you uh, were in this situation. Do you get a chance to show, I mean, I've seen some of your stuff, you know, here and there, but I guess the, the vast majority, you just can't share it all, right? So, um, yeah, let me, let me know. Just, you know, if you can put it in comments or whatever. The, the downside, if you're watching this as the recording, does any of the comments that came in in the live stream go away? So you know, I'm going to try and repeat stuff as much as I can. But um, yeah, so what I will be able to share for this weekend is some cool, well, I'll be doing some, some plasma cutting work. Uh, there's another fabricator here in town that I work with pretty often, and uh, he's got some stuff. So I'm going to show some, some basics about... Um, how I work with other businesses and talk about um, my business to business work and, and how that works. Because since I put my last real machining video out, which is God, it's like a month ago already, um, I've gotten quite a few people uh, who have contacted me, both especially about plasma cutting, but um, about how I handle some of the plasma cutting side of the business and um, actually wearing a Fanny Go shirt. So if you've watched any of the videos before, you know, I did a lot of uh, plasma cutting for Fanny Goat, in fact. And it's a local brewery here in town. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do some of that. What The other question that I have for everybody as we're doing this is um, looking at projects for the rest of the year and what I'm going to be able to share and what I can't share. Um, oh, hey, Colin, hope you had a great birthday, by the way, buddy. Um, happy birthday. But, uh, yeah, so um, I'm looking at a couple of things. Um, the last video I did that was machining related was actually one of the lessons out of the, the Titans of CNC Academy. And uh, it actually was very well received. Um, and I think, at least in my opinion, part of the reason why it was well received is because I was doing it on my tiny little 440. Right? It wasn't a, I didn't do it on the VF2, didn't, you know, didn't do it on these big machines. You know, more often than not, when we see these videos, with these tutorials, everything is geared at the big shops. And I could have gone that route, but um, I'm using it as professional development and as a challenge for myself. And so I did it specifically on the smaller machine with the smaller tooling and you know, figuring out how do, I, um, how do I get around some of the challenges there. So I'm gonna continue down that path. Um, <laughs> I had this lofty goal of doing like one a week. And uh, in the meantime, after, you know, uh, now I saw Curtis, uh, Kurt, uh, Kurt Chan, he said he was going to do the same thing and then it took, him like, it took him over a week to get the first one done. So um, I don't know what the plan is with that, but that's my plan is I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to continue doing these. Um, I don't, you know, obviously I'm not going to be able to do one a week, um, at least not for a while, not until things get settled here. Hey Ryan, welcome, welcome. But... Uh, um, yeah, so in addition to that kind of stuff, what sort of things would you guys like to see? So what kind of projects would you like to see? Because there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Sean, I don't know if you're still on or not, but uh, Sean did some, some great uh, updates and upgrades to her 1100. Um, and I haven't seen anything lately about that, uh, especially on your, your coolant uh, project that you were doing. So I hope that's going well for you. But, um, yeah, so I'd just like to know, kind of now, that's awesome. I'd like to know what kind of things you're doing, because I'm, yeah, so I got a lot of uh, great ideas from Sean, right? She was working on this stuff, and I'm like, oh my God, that's just awesome, right? So um, I flat out plan on copying some of those things. Uh, I'm going to work on you know, modifications and things like that. Um, but I'm going to go that route uh, for some of the other projects as well, sharing some of the things that I'm working on. But what would you like to see? Um, things that are options for you. Um, as I get moved into the new space, I, I can pick up the motorcycle projects again, finally. It's been far too long. So I've got 
an old um, an old Suzuki uh, Savage uh, LS650 that's going to get bobbed, and then my own uh, daily ride, my uh, my Vulcan. Uh, I'm going to start working on on that quite a bit as well. Uh, it's finally time to uh, start doing that. Um, let's see. I'll probably do some videos as I'm getting moved into the shop about you know, different upgrades or things like that. Um, but I was trying to figure it out a little bit there. I, Nick, you want to see housework, huh? Dude, you're just going to have to come visit. That's all there is to it. Sorry. I don't, you know, my channel, I, I could share more of the housework. I don't know how interesting it is to watch me scraping the you know, popcorn off a ceiling. Um, yeah, it's just not that, uh, not that fun. But, or even, heck, I'm surprised I've got so many people watching now because it's basically a, what I have the primer on the one wall and, you know, we haven't primed this wall yet. Uh, most of the kitchen is finally primed. But, uh, yeah, so... What kind of things would you like? Um, again, I am going to work on that uh, little barber project. I know there's other, um, there's like kits out there and all kinds of stuff. Recumbent trike three wheel project. John, do you know uh, Duncan Bullock? Actually, today is Duncan's birthday too, by the way. And um, yeah, Duncan is, um, he's in the UK, but he's got, uh, um, he builds the recumbents, and he's actually, you know, said that too. So I need to I need to do that. That is one that I'll probably do. Oh, recumbent trike. Do you want a recumbent trike three wheel? Are you talking about recumbent bicycle, or are you talking about an actual motorcycle um, recumbent three wheel? Because that'd be interesting. Um, oh, Randy. Hey, hey, buddy. Awesome. Yeah, you know, and the other thing, Randy, you were, you've been on the mind because um, this last month or so, I've been uh, kind of reliving some, some things that you, uh, that you went through. So the day job uh, has changed on me a little bit, and so that's been keeping me a whole lot busier as well. So, yeah, you've definitely been on the mind, um, but it's time to get back in the shop. It's definitely time to get back in the shop. So, uh, yes, yeah, bicycle. Okay, cool. Very good. Um, yeah, so that's one that I've been looking at because um, my kids actually really want to get out and ride their bicycles, and I just don't really do the bicycle thing. It's it's hard on my back. So, ooh, the glasses. The glasses are awesome. I'm not wearing them right now because of the, all the sheetrock and stuff like that. I didn't want to scratch them. But um, do you guys want to see them? Um, I can I can go grab them or at least one set of them. But uh, yeah, the glasses, um, so for those of you who don't know and, and aren't following, uh, I'm colorblind. Not completely colorblind, but enough that it makes things interesting at times. Um, and I recently got glasses from a company called Enchroma, and um, the glasses help, uh, help people who, who, who don't have normal color vision. It helps them see more colors. Uh, and it's kind of an interesting technology. Uh, they're, they're polarizing lenses, right? So they help direct the light to the right, um, the right parts of the eye so that you can see more of them. So in my case, I kind of went from, you know, the way that I explain it to people is going from 16 crayons to 64 crayons or even 128 crayons. Um, so there's a whole range of colors that I can see now that I, I didn't see before when I've got the glasses up. And I've got glasses for indoors and outdoors, although it, it's still light dependent, right? So um, the, the indoor glasses have a slight tint to them. Those are my rose colored glasses. Um, they do have a slight tint to them and it's hard to, uh, it's hard to do, um, or it's hard in low light situations because it, it, um, they act like sunglasses. So I put them on, walk outside and it was just amazing. I, I, the colors that I saw, um, looking around and seeing that the, uh, the the neighborhood that we that I was in, so I was over at my my parents' place, um, looking around and seeing uh, all of the different colors of the houses, and, and seeing that the houses had multiple colors and weren't just a single shade, was overwhelming. Really, uh, turning around the corner and seeing this bright purple 
hose that my parents have on their house. I, I'd never seen purple before, and it's just, I, you know, you see these videos online, and you start to think, okay, well, you know, how much of this is really you know, acting or not, and um, it, it's pretty, it's, it really is overwhelming. And I think I understand now, having, this has been a month or two now, and I've had them, I think I understand part of it. Uh, a little better why people react the way that they do at least in my case so it was like difficult to hold back tears it was so um, such an amazing uh, experience for me and what I realized afterwards and this is really it took me a little while to figure this out was um, my brain was getting all these signals it had never gotten before it was literally overloading my brain with all this new sensory input. And um, yeah, it was just crazy. Hey, thanks, Colin. I appreciate you coming today. I'll, I'll talk to you later. But uh, yeah, so they tell you to, to wear them. They, try, they want you to wear them about 10 hours the first week. Well, I was so excited. I didn't want to take them off. I, I wore them 10 hours in the first day, the first 24 hours. Um, and uh, so, we were driving, uh, we were supposed to be driving over to my, my, uh, my in-law's place, my mother-in-law's place, and um, we were going separately. My wife drove in, in one vehicle, I went in the other, and so driving with it, I just was like, you know, crazy. Have I found Waka? I don't know what that is, but uh, Tristan, I'll, I'll get back to that in a minute. So, um, uh, yeah, so... The short drive is thirty mi or thirty about thirty minutes is about twenty miles to, to go. Um, I got there and I had to just stop. I, I mean, I parked and I just I needed a break because there was just so much and the um, the road signs and the lines on the roads and everything just I mean, it, stuff was just crazy glowing. Yeah, don't forget to look on the road. Yeah, because I was I was seeing. Um, yeah, you know, I can see colors, right? I knew leaves on trees were green. I didn't realize how many shades of green there were. Um, and seeing all the different variation in these trees that, to me, used to just blend in the background, all of a sudden everything was standing out. Um, what's funny is I was in the army, I was in the infantry, no less, right? So um, this, this actually worked, not seeing colors actually worked to my advantage at that point because camouflage just doesn't really work for me. I could just look at stuff and be like, yeah, there's somebody over there, there's this thing over here, and you know, I just, I could see stuff. Well, you know, with these glasses on, you know, I'm guessing that wouldn't be the same, but, uh, so it was an advantage uh, at that point, but now it's, it's kind of neat. My wife made a comment the other day. I came, uh, I came downstairs and I had, uh, I was, you know, just, I thought I had a nice outfit on. I was, I was actually pretty happy. Dressed, my, dressed myself, was well, dressed myself, but um, in this case, she looked at me, and she's like, oh my god, everything matches so well, and I was like, what, you know, what do you mean, it, was, it didn't seem like it was that big a deal, she goes, I mean, everything you're wearing perfectly matches from head to toe, um, which, you know, for me is just, it doesn't happen, right, you know, I, 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 most of my clothes I can just mix and match and put on because, you know, it just works. Um, and that's a reaction to not seeing colors for so long, is I, I just buy things that, in general, are going to be able to not have to think about it. In this case, I actually thought about it, and um, apparently I, I did okay. But, uh, um, yeah, so the, the glasses are, are life-altering, to say the least. Um, you know, it's like being in your 40s and suddenly having to learn your colors over again because the nuances, things that, that people probably take for granted, um, I never saw before. Right? So I had to learn what lavender is, you know, looks like. Um, all these shades of purples that I just didn't, you know, didn't know were things. Uh, so yeah. It's, it's been interesting. It really is. Um, so, and yes, Nick, your, your mom could definitely have screwed me up and did screw me up in, uh, when we were kids, but that's okay. 
So, back to the original questions. So yeah, um, you know, I'll put this in the um, put that in the uh, uh, in the chat. If anybody is interested in the glasses, uh, the company it's, it's called Inchroma. So you know, pretty easy to find online. You know, if you want to see, there's plenty of YouTube videos online. I have we shot video. I haven't done anything with it. Maybe I'll actually release that this week. Um, it wasn't much, and frankly, um, it's not the greatest quality because uh, it's. If I remember right, it doesn't always show my face. Like sometimes it's it's from behind as I'm walking around because I just I didn't want to see still. I, I wanted to you know walk around and see as much stuff as I could. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, um, that's that's what it is. So. Yeah, let's let's move on. Let's let's get back to it. Um, okay, uh, Tristan, uh, this is the I, I don't know what you're getting at here. So, right. Anyways, uh, yeah, back to shop stuff. Um, yeah, shoot me a note if you guys want. Uh, you know what? I'm probably gonna have to get back to the housework. Uh, and, Right now, I am changing out. I don't know if you guys, not everybody follows, um, and I don't post this everywhere, but uh, I don't know if I put this on Instagram. Um, some of the stuff goes on Facebook, some of it goes on Instagram. It's I should just pick one and, and stick with it. But uh, I've, I've been going through all the electrical in the house here, and part of that stems from the fact that I found um, light switches and sockets and the, the outlets that were... Um, uh, blowing up or burning up actually there you go and then um, I also found that the main power from the house over to the shop was just spliced into the main line coming into the box so basically the way it works at the house right now it scares the crap out of me so you have 200 amp service to the house it goes from the meter to a cut off uh, breaker from there it comes in to the house and they split it between the box the main uh, breaker box here in the house and then there's a run through conduit through the ground out the you know, acre or so off to where the, the shop is and there's another you know uh, uh, breaker box there in the shop to run everything so I am not comfortable with leaving the power that way I, I'm gonna reach out on Monday to um, to Duke Power, who um, who is our provider here, and see about getting a, a separate um, se separate meter and a separate line run to the shop. But today's project, because I'm by myself and just have a little quiet time, is I'm I'm replacing all of the outlets uh, in the house, and um, at least in the areas that we've painted already. So as I'm going through, I'm putting new outlets, new covers making sure that it's wired properly, that it's grounded properly, because I've found neutral and, and the hot wires mixed, of, you know, which is pretty common, that happens. Um, I mean, with AC you can get away with that, but it's not great. Um, I found loose wires, like I said, a couple of the wires where it had obviously overheated, shorted out, burned back, um, you know, lots of little things like that. So I'm, I'm using it as a way to just button things up. So I gotta get back to that. But, um, yeah, if you do want, again, this is my last call on this, if you guys do want stickers, um, let me know that you can get through Instagram, uh, send me a direct message through Instagram, send me an email. I did see uh, at least one email came in. Mike? Yeah, okay. Oh, good. Yeah, so there's a couple of emails. Uh, people have uh, sent stuff over. Um, Sean, I'll definitely get you some stickers. Just uh, let me know how to get them to you. Um, in a non-stalker kind of way, because I know I could go to John and, and get an address. But uh, yeah, so let me know how to get it to you. And um, yeah, so let's uh, let's wrap things up. I uh, I'm really uh, thankful that you guys were uh, that you guys were uh, in the session today because this wasn't planned. This was just I need a break, and I sat down and I thought, hey, let's 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 do a live stream real quick. So yeah. If you're watching this on the recording, I may still have some pictures left, so by all means, do.
do that. Yes. Oh, Scott. Hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. But uh, yeah, so just um, yeah, you can you can send, shoot me a note. Let me know. That's Tom at InspirationMetalWorks.com. Uh, I'll I'll see if I've got some you know, if I've got stickers left. I'll do it. But uh, otherwise, it's time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and uh, sharing your Saturday with me a little bit. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. See you guys.